Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to create a website using Microsoft Expression Workflow. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to create a website using Microsoft Expression Workflow. In order to achieve the task, we should open Microsoft Expression Workflow. How to open Microsoft Expression Workflow? It's simple and easy. Just go to start and go to M where you can find Microsoft Expression folder. Just click on the folder in order to expand it. When you expand the folder where you can see Microsoft Expression Web 4, just click on this icon in order to open it. When you open Microsoft Expression Web 4, where you can see this window, this is called as IDE integrated development environment so where you can see a lot of menus like file edit view insert format tools table site data view panels windows and l where you can see the toolbar and folderless tag properties now our task is we want to create a website so just go to the site menu just click on the site menu and then Go to new site. Just click on new site in order to open a new site. When you click on new site, it will take you to a window where you can see general and templates. In general, we have three options. One is one page site, empty site, import site reserve. One page site where we want to create a only one page website and empty site without any pages. And if you want to import, website you can use this option on other hand we have templates when you click on templates why well, you can able to see a lot of built-in templates we can able to use this templates too so today our task is we want to create a general or one page website so in this window where you can see the location where you're going to save a website and there's a website name let us say change the name as you like and click OK. When you click OK, inside view where you can able to see default.html. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Just double click it in order to open it. When you open where you can see the HTML code as well as the design. So in this ID where we can have uh, three options. One is design, where the entire window will be in design mode, or split, where you can see HTML core as well as the output and design. Or if you want to view only the core, as you like, you can able to use the option. Now I'm going to do it in split mode. Now this is an area where we are going to play or we are going to type our code. So now I'm going to use H1. So H1 is a heading tag. So where I am going to type, welcome to my website. Okay. Now where you can able to see the output. Now, if you want to see the output in browser, because whenever we write the HTML code, we want to see the output in browser. So in order to do this, first we want to save. So how to save, go to file and save. And then go to file where you can see preview in browser. So in this option where you can able to see a lot of browsers out there like Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, if you install any other browser, that browser will be listed right here. So whichever you like, you can use it. Or else, in toolbar where you can see this, the same option, Preview and Internet Explorer. Just click on it in order to open it. Now you can see this your code, and which comes with the, the default browser, that is Internet Explorer. If you wish to change, just close it. Now I'm going to run it in Chrome browser. Just click on Chrome. 
see now you can view the output in Chrome browser. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video.